Today we are going to explore an unconventional way to generate musical ideas uh, using the arpeggiator of Able to Life and the drum rack. Let's have a look. So I'm going to play the demo first and after we're going to talk about it. So here is the demo. Let's put a kick for context. So as you can see, if you focus on the uh, drum rack column, you can see that each pattern is uh, randomly picked by the arpeggiator in a particular sequence that you choose. So let's go up with some octave. Okay, so you get the point. So what is happening here in a nutshell, uh, it's I have inserted inside my drum rack 128 sample of uh, uh, roads, you know, with the north key, the north key roads type of things. Very important is the all the roads needs to share the same harmonic content, needs to all all of them needs to be in the same key. In my case, I choose all of them to be on D minor. And, and that's, you know, basically the, the, the secret of it. You know, if they are not in the same harmonic content, then you're not going to have a very good result in that sense. Um, I've made a video last week about this, so I checked it out. And it's basically about how to select and filter down all the samples that are in the notes that of your desired choice. Um, so you can check that here. After done all of this, after insert all the samples, I just made sure of one thing, that all of them needs to be on the chalk. Uh, if they're not in the chalk, let's just take out the chalk. Uh, if I play one note, the next note, everything is overlapping and it's not very good. So that's why we have the chalk. Um, next thing, obviously, is the arpeggiator. And uh, in my case, um, let, let, let's just put an arpeggiator from the beginning so that we're going to see uh, what we're gonna do here. So, arpeggiator from the beginning, play one note. It's just playing the same note all the time. So, what we're gonna do here is to put the steps, like four steps, which means that he's gonna choose, as you can see here. You can set the rate to be like slower. And let's play with the contest of the kick. The style can be random. It's just picking randomly anywhere where it does you want. You can play order, or you can play up and down. Uh, the distance can is, is telling you how much distance do you want to be between the pattern that is selected. So you can put six. So each sixth pattern is selecting one. Now if I play all of them, let's go up with the pitch, with the octave. So basically this is the way to generate those um, musical ideas on a go. And sometimes you can have really cool random sequence uh, that uh, then you can record and base your track on. One cool thing that you can do with those roads is basically to control all of them, the transposition, the random panning, the attack, the decay, uh, the sustain and the release. So, for example, all of those roads have the transpose on five. If I would just want to go on zero and I go to, with the right click, copy values to siblings, it means that all of the other are going to set on zero. And you can hear that now they are more uh, lower. Another cool uh, thing that I always put is the random panning. Random panning means how much uh, randomization of the panning do you want to be. So if you set to 100% and you put to the siblings, 
is going to be extremely on the left and on the right, which is a bit too much. So let's go on a 20%, copy value to siblings. Um, another thing that I like to put is the auto filter uh, with the amount and the rate quite high. So because I like to, you know, I like to have the auto filter that is always doing this job. And more importantly, well, you can also put a, a glue compressor with the side chain if you like, but that's another type of aesthetic that you're going to choose. Another cool thing is it's the, to have two return tracks, one with a reverb and one with a delay, so that there is this kind of tail. Um, so you can choose, uh, you know, all the segues that you like to do. And, and this, technique, this, this trick is really, really useful uh, for generate musical ideas. Uh, and you can do this with, uh, you know, I, in, my, in this case, I just used the house roads um, with the north lead, but you can choose, you know, everything else, you know, dark sounds, mysterious vapor wave, synth wave. Uh, it's very important that all of them are in the same key. And uh, again, I've made last week a tutorial about it where you can check it here, uh, which is actually explaining how to use a, a program called KeyFinder. You can download it for free from the internet and uh, you can analyze all your sounds. And once they are analyzed, you can choose in the key find, in, in the Mac Finder, you can analyze all the sounds that ending in a certain note. So that's everything for today. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next time.